imagine the students that he told that they were speaking incorrectly because he said, we thought it was just broken ground. And he said, and now it took all this time for me to learn what it is. And I said, right, it's an African retention. I said, and you see the colors on the flag, the green is for the land. The blue is for the water and the indigo because we know the water to bring me young, the water to take me back. But the yellow, the gold, is for the sun and a brighter day. And so I believe that with us standing here today and celebrating on this occasion, we have reached that point of that brighter day where there are folks in this room that if you don't know, even without asking somebody, as you have said, you now know that here is the deal. The dynamics of Turner, we wouldn't be here necessarily today, still holding on to we culture. But also it is the wherewithal of the African peoples themselves who are Gullah Geechee that held on to it all along, never knowing he was ever going to arrive. And so even today, as we hold on to it, we never look for the video cameras to show or the tape recorders. In fact, when they do, we switch to English. <laughs> okay? And so we keep it alive by keeping it together. And as you saw in the center of the tree, those are human bodies intertwined. Because we know that we cannot survive without each other. So we are the body of that tree whose roots have that healing sound going on and going up into them. And one of the things that we do is more often than not when we shout, we shout around the tree. We shout in the circle. So I don't hear them folks stop clicking against the plate. So that means your hands are free right now. So I need you to just see if you can try to do something for me and with me. Y'all ready? See if y'all can do this right here. All of us. 
Washington, thank you for sharing your spirit and your intellect with us today. Uh, and please come back because you have so much to teach us and so much to share. And I want to see you dancing with Melvin. We'll do that later on another show. Thank you. What a team you would make. Thank you so much for coming to Washington. Uh, we very much uh, appreciate your presence and your gift to us today. And uh, may you continue to uh, be able to share your knowledge and your spirit with all of us. So very important and we, we really treasure you. Thank you, Sister. So we should from what was previously said by our dear sister, and what we come to understand is that he who owns the definition owns the power. If you own the definition, no one can ever tell you who you're not. Because you say, no, 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 let me tell you who I am. And let me show you what I do, because I would never have become Melvin Neal the artist if I had not early been given instruction by God and my ancestors to tell people who I am. And I tell young people, particularly children every day, tell people who you are. Don't let them tell you who you are. You tell them who you are. Now, we're going to do a few movements from the Saba dance, from mm. the people of Senegal, the national dance. And the Saba is indicative of the emulation of birth. Because birth represents the continuity of our people's continuums. <laughs> Which means that as a griot, as it was previously said, all the beautiful information that sister brought to us, then what she said has to be anointed by movement. Mm -hmm. Now, when I go into the community, people say, well, how are you going to get the children to embrace these concepts? And uh, before I continue, how many of you here know any black cultural anthropologists? Okay, you're lucky. Because there are not many black cultural anthropologists. Exactly. There are not many black anthropologists. Period. Right. Why? Because the information that is contained in the study of cultural anthropology and anthropology denotes the essence of a people's being, mm -hmm. which means their enfranchisement by way of their culture. 